Thanks so much, Jan. It's nice for that reminder that fat can be our friend. It is summer tune-up week here at The List, and a new trend suggests women work out based on the shape of their body. Athletic, curvy, pear-shaped, you get the idea. Mike Brookbank helps you discover your body type and shows the workouts recommended for each one. Come on, let's find shapes. I see a circle. Shapes are fun in games when we're kids, but it's a different story as adults. For women, there are five common body shapes. Who knows, it might be more. Fredina Usher Weems from the Cleveland Clinic suggests tailoring your workout to match your body type. Let's start with the pair. That woman normally, she always focuses on doing like squats and leg work. So she completely ignores her upper body. Pairs who don't normally do upper body work should to help shed pounds. Exercises like pec flies, bicep curls and triceps, and low impact cardio. From one fruit to another, now the apple. That's where most of the weight goes into your abdominals. Back flies, diamond shaped squats and lateral raises are good for apple shaped women, along with a focus on abs. Basic crunches on the floor, what you're doing in the seat or standing. Next up, curvy. That person looks like an hourglass. Curve-shaped women need to focus on shoulders and thighs to keep weight off those areas. They need to make sure they do a total body workout. Developing a fitness routine based on body type might be beneficial for some, but not all fitness experts are on board with the idea. It's got nothing to do with your body type. Floyd Collins, a fitness expert with 25 years of experience, says if an apple or curvy woman wanted the same result in the gym... Well, you would do the exact same exercises. As the people, we like to fall in the category sometimes. And it does that, but I don't think it does it accurately. Ferdina stands by her claim, saying shape-specific exercise routines pay off. If you do those exercises along with eating right and sleeping, you will see a change. For The List, I'm Mike Brookbank. 